Hi you guys, welcome back to another read. So this is gonna be a general love read for Aquarius. I'm dating it for July of this year, but of course it may not resonate with everyone at this time, but um, I really hope that it resonates with you guys. Definitely make sure you give the video a thumbs up. You can leave a comment below if you want to. Subscribe if you are new. And yeah, let's get into it. Um, for personal love reads, you can definitely use my link tree link that's located in the description box below. You can email me as well, but make sure you um, make sure your message when you're reaching out to me, make sure it starts off with some type of simple greeting like "Hi, hello, good good afternoon, um, good evening." If not, I do not respond back. So let's get into it here. What does Aquarius need to know? right now or whenever they come across this read so first card out we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will definitely bring you romance aquarius now for some of you guys you could be just needing to think optimistic it's almost like you could be feeling like it's not a true love out there for you that's what it feels like for someone so this is the romance of a lifetime so let me see what else comes out here tell me more for aquarius Tell me more for Aquarius. What else do they need to know? So two cards came out, y'all. You could be in a connection. This could be a, um, for some people, y'all, this could be a friends with benefits type of situation. We got let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I usually don't read that card because not everybody has like real ride or die friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't, I don't read that card. And maybe that's just me, but... Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. We're going to leave this one right here. But yeah, for some of you, you could be definitely needing to pay attention to some red flags here. It's almost like you could be dealing with people, y'all. And it could be like friends. I don't know. Um, romantic, too, since this is like a very general love read. You are tired of the red flags. But Spirit saying, hold on now. You know, just because they got red flags, you know. It don't mean the true love ain't out here somewhere okay it's like you're tr if you think about it y'all a true love or the one that you're supposed to be with um they are out here right now in the world but you just have not met them yet or i don't know it could just be like you know certain situations where it's just not meant for you guys to be together right now so it's almost like it's not like a true love does not exist on this planet for you okay tell me more for aquarius so we got flirt and, show, and look, true love is showing up again, y'all. Okay, so this is very exciting, Aquarius. Um, and I don't have not, a, well, I got like one, I think my North Node is in Aquarius. Yeah, but um, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So yeah, it definitely looks really good in regards to, um, definitely like a very, very flirty type of energy. <laughs> true love is showing up here again. So yeah, Spirit is definitely saying that you're gonna receive the romance of a lifetime but um be mindful of the people who that could be like i feel like with this lighthearted y'all it's almost like cold hearted too that's what i'm getting i never read that card that way it's almost like people with um people with bad motives that could be trying to get close to you it's almost like they could um, come in almost like it's nothing really serious. It's almost like maybe a friend or something or someone in your someone in your circle. So it's like the person could be like an associate, but then it's like they trying to, you know, rub up on you or like get up on you. Spirit so saying, hey, pay attention to those red flags surrounding this person. Give me one more for Aquarius. So we have religious factors that showed up here as well. Know that your love life is going to ascend Aquarius to commitment. That's if you're wanting it. But I don't know if why you would be watching our love read if you don't want commitment or I don't know. But religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this looks really good in regards to you coming into contact with a true love. This could definitely be a divine counterpart for someone. But it's like someone who's on the same level as you. It could be like, you know, spiritually, of course, it's like this person could definitely um, support your spiritual path or basically it's like someone who doesn't make a, like um, someone that does not um, make fun of you of your spiritual path or like your journey, basically. So that's what it seems like for someone. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify some of these. <clears throat> Tell me about stay optimistic about your love life for Aquarius. 
Tell me about stay optimistic about your love life for Aquarius, please. So, wow, Ace of Cups, y'all, you have divine love that's coming in. Like, trust and believe it. If you are thinking negative, you know, with, with things going on right now in the world, it's just like, you just never know. It's like, you know, you may really be feeling like your true love is not out there. But look, someone's divine counterpart is showing up here. We got the Emperor. And, of course, Aquarius, you could be the Emperor as well, y'all, because the roles are reversed. And not really sure what everybody's preference is. I know some people get actually upset when I don't mention, like, the other genders it's like i don't know like i'm not i don't resonate with that lifestyle but i do not judge when i do the love read y'all so that's why i say like the masculine and feminine energies even though we both we all have both so it's just like you just have to really take it high how you um how it resonates with you so let's see let me move my camera back because it was my table was shaking hold on okay tell me about pay attention to the red flags for aquarius so we got the ace of wands that's showing up here y'all there could be some type of rekindling here i feel like you have so you have new love but then there is a person here they just want to be intimate y'all honestly from what's showing up here um we got the king of swords so you could be dealing with another air sign or you're this king of swords that's showing up here y'all Ace of Wands, yeah, there's some type of, it's almost like someone could be wanting to rekindle. But with this Ace of Wands, it's like a lot of sexual energy, y'all. So Spirit saying, hey, be mindful of the people who could be wanting to like move a little too fast. It's almost like a one night stand type of thing too. But also it could be someone who just wants like, just like a friends with benefits type of thing. That's what it looks like. So tell me about flirt for... Aquarius so we have the six of swords that came out for some of you guys I feel like you could definitely have trouble in your dating life because of like what you do for work and career y'all because I had seen the six of pentacles and I feel like you are the person um Aquarius in the middle of the six of pentacles card it's like the person who's giving to the beggars yeah I feel like for some of you guys yeah spirit is saying be careful of those people um that you could have in your energy where it's like they only want you they only want you because of like your position or like what you do for work it's like that type of thing it's like they have nothing to offer basically they have nothing to give so some of you guys could, could have definitely been dealing with that but with this flirt card that's showing up here and we got the six of swords it looks really good in regards to you guys moving forward or like moving on look how the sun came in for y'all okay so spirit saying hey brighter days are ahead okay just try to think positive Look, Six of Swords, you're moving away from this conflict here. It's definitely going to be a like a big sigh of relief too. Or some challenges that you could have been going through um, in your love life, Aquarius. Tell me about religious factors. You're on the right path too, if you were wondering. Tell me about religious factors. Because you know how you keep running to people with red flags. You may start questioning yourself like, am I on the right path? It's like, why well, keep running to these people? But no. Tell me about religious factors for Aquarius. But we got the magician card is showing up here. So yeah, you're definitely on the right path, y'all. You are manifesting as well um, with the magician card showing up here. So yeah, it's like you are the magic Aquarius. <laughs> like you are the magician. So look, we got the Knight of Wands that came out too. So yeah, definitely trust your instincts too, y'all. Um, with this Knight of Wands that's showing up here. For some of you guys, you could actually be traveling a lot. And maybe you do, you, maybe you will meet someone like while traveling. Because I do feel like it's in and out energy for someone. So, yeah, you can actually meet someone, like, long distance, too. Tell me more about religious factors. And also, too, realize that you are attracting, not chasing. You're attracting this new love. So, just be mindful of your, your thoughts and your, your beliefs at this time. So we got everything is fine. Some of you guys could have definitely went through some type of ending too. I do feel like there's a need for you guys to balance out possibly like your work life and love life too. I feel like everything's going to fall into place Aquarius. But yeah, Spirit saying everything's fine. You're still on the right path too. But it does like you guys have learned some lessons here. And I feel like this is in regards to friendships y'all and romantic. It's like, you know, people that you actually loved. You learned a lot of lessons from them. And I feel like too, um... Going back to career and work, y'all, you could definitely have some struggles on um, 
on like your love life because of what you do for work or career yeah clarify the magician for aquarius clarify the magician look we got the shrimp card showing up here um there's an offer a love offer that's going to be showing up it does like it starts off as like very very flirty you could be wanting to go towards someone as well aquarius with the love offer but yeah it definitely looks very very flirty spirits want you to um be careful too about who you um like who you could be like flirting with but also too it's like who you who you're giving your cup to we got a strength card that shows up that showed up with the magician card so yeah it definitely looks really good um in regards to you guys healing overcoming these challenges too and the infinity sign could definitely be like very very significant for you guys but spirits just want you to know that there's infinite love out here like love is very high vibrational it's like it's no way in the world y'all that like we would never have love if you get what i'm saying because it's more so like an energetic thing so yeah just be mindful that like love is definitely out here for you aquarius um, I'm going to get one more for this pay attention to the red flags because I just want to see. Tell me about pay attention to the red flags for Aquarius. Look, Ace of Pentacles. This came out sideways, y'all. So, yeah, it's almost like a opportunity that's going to be presented to you, you guys. Definitely use your intuition, your discernment. But it does sound like for the most part, you guys could be... Um, there's conflict. There is mental conflict here surrounding... Some type of, it feels like a rekindle or some type of opportunity. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. It's a kind of like, it feels more so like you are choosing, um, or you're needing to choose true love, like real love, y'all. I'm talking about somebody who's going to love you on your worst days, um, compared to, some type of flame that's it's gonna like quickly spark out with this ace of wands so yeah spirit saying uh, pay attention to that so it's like you guys do have um these opportunities showing up here but it's like just be mindful of like what you're accepting or giving your time and energy to look the six of pentacles wanted to show up at the bottom of the day tell me about tell me more about pay attention to the red flags for aquarius Yeah, so we have the nine of um the nine of stories. There, there's definitely some things that you could be not seeing. Y'all look the moon card. See, you could definitely have some people that's in your energy where they're deceptive. It's like bad vibes. It's like when they come up to you or when they when you first meet them or encounter them, they have hidden motives. Maybe you're not seeing it, but it's like they're showing you one way, but really they're they're um they are they got something else plotting. They plotting, they scheming. With the moon card, nine of swords. So it's like it leaves you in this energy right here with this nine of swords. Some of you guys could definitely be like very, very generous. It's like you always willing to help the person out. Especially if y'all not even... It's like you could be like really, really cool with the person. But you'll actually like let them borrow money if they need it to y'all. But it's almost like just check, um, check the person's like true intentions. On why they could be wanting to be in your energy. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for Aquarius. Look, we got the Death card that's showing up here. And look, see, I told y'all, y'all are showing up as like a, it's like a king and queen of pentacles type of energy, but also too, like the Six of Pentacles energy where you're a very abundant um, Death card. So yeah, whoever you have some type of ending with. Now, some of you guys, something could have changed surrounding your work or career life. And you're definitely um, seeing like the fruits of your labor with this queen of pentacles showing up here. It's like you just look like money. And it's like these people could be wanting to uh, spin the block, okay? <laughs> Listen, they trying to spin the block because they see that you possibly could have leveled up in career or work, y'all. So yeah, that's what it looks like, Aquarius. I'm going to end the read here, y'all. Feel free to um, give the video a thumbs up if you did resonate with it or if you took some type of insight from it. Um, you can leave a comment below and subscribe if you are new.